Welcome to Wawa Mela Channel. The Third Voyage of Sinbad the Sailor Once there lived a poor porter Sinbad who came across a lovely mansion and envied its master. Sinbad the Sailor who was the master of the mansion inquired about his envy and offered him wine and food to eat. Then Sinbad narrated his story, Seven Voyages, of how he became rich to the porters and others who were at his mansion. Sinbad was too restless living a life of ease or perhaps was too greedy for yet more gold. He thought that wealth doesn't only bring luxurious life but also respect from his friends and family. Sinbad was not content, he wanted as much gold as he could get. So, in his rashness, he stared his voyage seas once more. Sinbad joined a ship of merchants and traveled. During his voyage, a gale blew up and tossed their boat here and there. When the storm settled, Sinbad and some of his crew members found themselves on an island shore. Sinbad and the others were shocked to see tribes of apes carrying spears and making mischief on land and sea. The apes wrecked their ship, but they dared not to fight them, as the apes were too numerous. They hurried from there and landed on another island. While resting they were woken by a minor earthquake. The ground trembled. It was a monster of a man as tall and broad as a tree with one eye, his teeth were like boar's tusks, his nails like lion claws, and his mouth gaped like a well. The one-eyed giant examined us one by one to see who had enough fat. The captain was the fattest and gulped by the giant. After satisfying his stomach, the monster lay down and fell asleep. Sinbad and others planned to escape they started to repair their ship. The monster woke up with a terrible roar and chased them. They managed to escape from that island and landed safely on the other. Once they reached the shore, they were able to find fresh water and fruit, but soon danger found them. Enormous snakes dropped down from a tree and charged towards them. Sinbad and others attacked the snakes with knives and rocks, but no use still more giant snakes were out of the bushes. They ran from there and decided to build a shelter. They began to cut down branches from the tree and build a kind of cage around them and managed to get some rest for the night. In the morning they all walked towards their ship inside the wooden cage they built. They discarded the cage when they reached the shore. They saw the sail of another ship and shouted for help. The captain of the ship rescued them safely. Sinbad returned to Baghdad with so much wealth that he shared with the poor.